All right, I did a video already about how these high voltage transformers can have such high voltage inside and so close to other high voltage without exploding. But I talked about nitrogen blanketed, so I just wanted to go over, there's actually two types. Uh, there's what this is, which is called a consummator and nitrogen blanketed. So we'll talk about this. Inside that transformer, it's filled with a insulating oil, which has very high dielectric strength so that the electricity has a much harder time moving and, and it's way, way more, it's better than air. So everything can be close to itself. And if you look there, those are 345,000 volt bushings and those are 115,000 volt bushings. And they have to be insulated all the way that distance you see there going down into the transformer. But once it gets in, it can be much closer to ground or other high voltage. And that's because of the dielectric oil that fills that transformer. But with this type of transformer, the conservator, the entire thing is full, chock-a-block full of oil. There is no air in there. Um, so the way this is able to get chock-a-block full is when it's being filled, there's uh, bleeders and all the air has to be bled out. Kind of like bleeding your brakes, but a way bigger pain. Um, the downside of these transformers is if they get a leak, they leak oil. And uh, you have to fix it um, kind of in a more urgent manner where the nitrogen blanketed transformers can leak a little bit of nitrogen and you can just replace the bottle that's down low where these typically if they start to leak up top and it gets all over everything you have to take it out of service and fix it and so this thing exists up top it's like a giant holding tank and we'll say it's about half full and there's a plastic bag inside there and that's completely surrounded by oil. That's all, but the, the bag itself is up at the very top, air can go in and out of that bag. And so as the oil heats up and cools down, the level of the oil can move up and down inside that conservator and it's able to do that without being exposed to atmosphere because of the bag that's in there. And that's just how that works to allow it. Kind of like a radiator tank, but one that's insulated from air touching it by this big thick plastic bag inside. So this 450 MVA, or we'll say million watt transformer is able to function and not explode. Hope that was helpful.